When space is a premium. You know when it hits you. Just after admiring the pizzazz of the space where you'd carry out your culinary indulgence, you immediately notice it's not as expansive as a celebrity chef's den and that you'd have to be creative and make sacrifices. It's not ideal, but it's what you're stuck with, for now. And you have to make every cubic foot of space count. That said, the long and short of optimizing a kitchen is that it's all about organization and storage. This is 13 DIY projects to better optimize your kitchen space by simphome.com. Number 13. Tilt out garbage or recycling cabinet. If you had a bit more space in your kitchen, this pull out trash and recycling bin would have been the ultimate stylish and convenient setup. But if that's out of the question, this easy to complete DIY tilt out trash or recycling bin is the next best thing you can come up with. Amazon has got a few finished products based on the same idea, but boy are their prices over the top. And don't forget shipping. For far less, you could head to your local hardware store to get needed materials, set aside a few hours, and follow the explicit instructions listed in the description area for your very own handmade iteration. Oh, and the guide has a collage of a few snippets, like this one, that should offer a bit of creative direction, should you want to spice things up. Number 12 wall-mounted paper roll holder. Craft paper has so many uses in a home. For example, to serve as table protection when working on messy projects, that it's kind of a no-brainer to install a craft paper dispenser. In the kitchen, you could use it to make lists or leave a message. This is perhaps the easiest project on the list. It's so simple that you don't need a ton of tools, materials, or even a guide. Anyone could install it. Simply drill screws through the pilot holes in the set. Yep, that's all you need. The dispenser's roller fits the typical 600mm 24-inch wide roll of craft paper, although it is available in different sizes. And should you need a sheet elsewhere, simply unroll and cut with a utility knife, or tear it away from the bottom easily. That said, if the kit is pricey for you, there are three DIY guides to make your own dispenser for a fraction of the cost. Number 11. Almost zero dollars magnetic spice racks. Here I say again, if you are a big fan of spices and have a lot of them, then you know firsthand how messy and hard it can be to keep them organized. You need a magic bullet, and it is a magnetic spice rack. Finally, you don't have to juggle spice tins or get to the brink of losing your sanity while trying to locate a specific spice. And you get to save a ton of space as it is wall mounted. This project is not truly complicated, and the materials you'd need are really inexpensive. About the result, well, you can see for yourself. It's like a work of art. Number 10. Using dividers to organize a Lazy Susan. It's easy to understand the appeal of a Lazy Susan. It takes only a spin to get anything on it at your fingertips. But experience has certainly shown most of us that it isn't exactly joie de vivre with Lady Susans. It's particularly dicey to use space effectively, and there are both credible functional and storage reasons why it doesn't get much love. However, you can do something about it. And it's one of those, why didn't I think of that, solutions. This DIY involves making a divider from easily accessible and cheap materials and using it to organize items on a Lazy Susan. And just like that, the issues you've had with things falling off, finding it hard to figure out how to store things on it, and having a bit of wasted space become history. Number nine. Hidden Kitchen Storage Solutions by Design Dazzle. Nothing screams organization like rows of cabinets and shelves. And while you already have some of that, it is possible to push farther with a bunch of hidden storage solutions that keep a lot of stuff out of sight and make your kitchen appear sleeker and neater. This guide itemizes a collection of these things done during a kitchen remodel and they're just breathtakingly creative. More importantly, in addition to the aesthetic value they bring, they also ensure improved accessibility. Number 8. Calyx Expedite Storage and Counter Combo In 2014, when IKEA pulled the plug on Expedite, there was hardly any excitement, and the uproar that greeted the decision was justified. Thankfully, it was only a name change coupled with a design update. Calyx was born, and like Expedite before it, it has been a terrific organizer or storage unit that you could use virtually anywhere, including in the kitchen. This DIY is pretty much an IKEA hack to add a pull-out countertop. The project is neither expensive nor overly complicated. It adds character, 
and it seems like an obvious thing to do. Here's what it looks like with the countertop tucked in. Number 7. Dish Draining Closet So, the pressing question is, why has this not caught on? It beggars belief that this is literally a 50-year-old design idea that's still pretty much a thing in Northern Europe where it was invented. Well, now that you've been introduced to it, you may want to give it a shot. It is basically a bottomless cupboard with shelves made of plastic-coated steel wires, which let water drain unimpededly from one level to the next and, ultimately, to the sink and drain below. It takes out the need to dedicate some section or sink area to drying dishes. Talk about saving space! Number 6. Spice Rack Using Glass Jars Yes, an alternative spice rack idea. What, you didn't think we were going to leave you with just one, right? This spice rack idea isn't as complex, but is just as functional as the other. Plus, it is a refreshing take. Definitely involves some woodworking, but they're just for small jars. And you're going to free tons of space in your cabinets thanks to this DIY. Number 5. Slide Out Shelves slide-out shelves? Um, why would I need them in the kitchen? Well, if it isn't immediately apparent, permit me to enlighten you. See, cabinets are great for hiding all of the stuff we've accumulated over the years. And here's the thing, at some point you're going to have some of these things so far back that you'd shudder at the thought of digging in. Or if you're hearing this, you probably already have. You'd practically forget you have some of these things, and worse off, probably buy something you already have. This DIY idea hits at the very heart of this issue. Rather than having to claw into the nether regions of a cabinet, why not have everything in it be easily accessible with a simple slide? And, like most things, the cost of ready-made slide-out shelves can run up to a figure that'd make you gape, as you'd likely need a couple of them. That leaves you with the alternative, a detailed guide that gets you through all of it for, unsurprisingly, far less in costs. See you later in my blog. Number 4. Manage the clutter with recycled magnetic spice tins Little kitchen clutter, from go-to pens to rubber bands, is a fact of life. And having them strewn about certainly doesn't look great, nor help you keep track of them. Now, a creative way to keep them organized is to store them in repurposed empty spice tins, or any metal tin, really, tea, mint, or any other type of tin. Simply slap magnets on and hang them. Here's view rundown of the process. You could even drill a hole in the side of a tin and have the tin double as a kitchen twine dispenser. Number 3. Transform the inside of cabinet doors This project has a little of everything. Creative use of free space that often goes unused, extra storage and setting up spots for lists, to-dos, reminders, coupons, and any scribbling or text material to improve efficiency. The fun of it all is how you're able to go to town with your creativity. You're able to personalize the organization, and since your only limitation is the number of cabinet doors in your kitchen, you can regulate the pace of the project. There's no compulsion to use all cabinet doors at a go. You could use a few doors for your present needs and be rest assured that, should the need arise, there's some unused space left to take advantage of. Number 2. Rolling Pantry When you've got a large kitchen with acres of space, then the new pantry you need may well be in your local IKEA or big box store. You don't have that luxury if the nook where the pantry would go doesn't meet any of the standard dimensions. That's where this tutorial comes in to fill you in on all the details you need to build a custom pantry that fits. This DIY sure requires planning, that's practically the major step. However, once you have that figured out, it's smooth sailing going forward. It'd prove to be an amazing addition to your array of storage solutions when all is said and done. Before we get to number one, press the subscribe button if this channel is new to you and bell icon beside it. This way you'll be notified of the new videos every time I have published it. Lastly, number one, burner covers. Okay, let's get the negative out of the way. Obviously there is a limitation with this idea. You can't use the burner while you need extra space. But if your kitchen is small, you know every extra inch of space you can claw back matters. It's a fairly easy, low-cost project. As such, it's not something you'd spend a lot of time. It's fairly rewarding, too. And since it's a DIY, the covers are custom-made to fit well, owing to the accurate measuring you'd do. My takeaway is, you have a lot to contend with when getting your kitchen together. 
appliances of all sizes, as well as the dizzying variety of cooking tools, utensils, gadgetry, and other essentials. But as long as you keep your collection in check, you shouldn't run into a fix with fitting them in. The ideas in this video take things a step further by helping you get even more out of your space. You could then declutter or, you know, finally have a place for that specialized cookware you've always wanted to have but had to put off because of space constraints. That's it. If you have a few minutes, visit first link inside description area to learn more about this list. Press the like button before this video ends, share it with anyone close to you, and see you again later with more home decor videos. Wish me luck for that. Thanks for watching and see you again later.